Have you ever heard the term quaternary twins? Do you know what it is? Or have you ever met a quaternary twin before? Stay with me as we dive into this very rare and intriguing topic. Imagine being cousins, but sharing the same amount of DNA as brothers and sisters. No, this isn't science fiction. This is a real genetic phenomenon known as quaternary twins, one of the rarest and most fascinating family relationships on Earth. Today, we're breaking down exactly what quaternary twins are, how they happen, how rare they are, and why genetics treats them very differently from ordinary cousins. How does it happen? It's like a science mystery. Quaternary twins are children born to two sets of identical twins. Typically, this means identical twin sisters who have children with identical twin brothers. Even though these children are legally cousins, genetically, they are almost the same as full siblings. To understand quaternary twins, we need to understand identical twins. Identical twins form when one fertilized egg splits, creating two people with nearly 100% identical DNA. So when identical twin sisters have children, they are essentially passing on the same genetic material. The same is true for identical twin brothers. As a result, quaternary twins share about 50% of their DNA, the same amount shared by full brothers and sisters. Let's compare. Typical cousins share about 12.5% DNA, siblings share about 50% DNA, quaternary twins, also about 50%. That means quaternary twins are genetically closer than half-siblings, step-siblings, or even double cousins. Because of their shared genetics, quaternary twins often look remarkably similar. They may share facial features, hair and eye color, blood types, and even similar medical traits. However, they are not identical twins. Environmental factors, random gene expression and epigenetics still create differences. Quaternary twins are extremely rare. First, identical twins themselves occur in only about three to four per 1,000 births. Then, both sets must meet, partner and conceive children around the same time. Quaternary twins can even confuse DNA testing. Standard tests may struggle to distinguish biological parents because the parent's DNA is nearly identical. Legally, these children are still cousins, but medically and genetically, doctors may treat them like siblings for risk assessments. Despite their unique genetics, quaternary twins are not inherently unhealthy. Their genetic similarity does not increase risks the way close inbreeding does. They are genetically distinct individuals, just unusually similar. A real-life example is the Salias Dean family, who gained fame when identical twins Brittany and Brianna Dean and Josh and Jeremy Salias married and later had sons, Jet and Jax, quaternary twins who call each other brother and are being raised together. Quaternary twins challenge how we define family. Cousins by title, siblings by DNA. They are living proof that genetics doesn't always follow simple rules. If you found this video interesting, like, comment, share and subscribe for more intriguing videos.